What is up guys, RSC6414 here, back with another video. This time I'm reviewing WWE Monday Night Raw, ended about an hour and a half ago. Overall this show was, it was alright, you know, sort of like a typical Raw, maybe for some reason I wasn't as entertained as I usually would, maybe I still haven't gotten over of how bad the last two matches of Battleground were or maybe that's what it was but this just didn't seem as good as normal Raw's um, just my opinion first thing we have uh, we have Triple H uh, and not Triple H we have Big Show and Stephanie McMahon calls Big Show out to the ring to begin the show to explain why he, what he did and why he did it Big Show basically says that he was tired of it he tired of all the pressure and being humili humiliated and he had enough that's why he knocked out Orton because he had had enough and he knocked out Daniel Bryan because Stephanie told him to and she just says pinning it on us when really it's your fault or something like that she says why don't you get on your knees and beg the WWE Universe for what you did and apologize he said I'm not gonna beg because I've had enough and I don't really care at this point really what you do anymore to me or what you hold over me he calls uh, Stephanie McMahon's husband, Triple H, a son of a bitch, and then uh, she gets offended and she says, you know what, she slaps him across the face like 15 times, he just starts laughing, she goes, Joe, you're fired, and then he walks out of the ring, he's like, I'm fired, just not, just sarcastically, and then just whatever, that opens the show, Big Show gets fired. <laughs> the next thing we have is Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Sandow. You know, overall, I gotta say, this match was pretty good. I thought it was just as good, or, I mean, the pre-show match yesterday, I was basically a rematch, was just probably the same as far as the standards. Uh, this was like a lot of people said when I watched their reviews, a Raw match, um, and that's basically what it was tonight. Just a pretty good match, probably one of the better ones, to be honest back and forth just some good wrestling basically what happens is Damien Sandow is going for a move uh, he rolls Dolph Ziggler up Dolph Ziggler gets right back up counters and hits the Famouser on Dolph on uh, Damien Sandow pins Sandow for the one two three so some good back and forth action Ziggler wins with the Famouser just a pretty solid good wrestling match probably the same exact match as far as I would rate it in the standards of the pre-show match of Battleground yesterday so okay man pretty good and the next match we have is um trying to remember oh yeah it was the Divas match uh, Natalia Jojo versus and Eva Marie versus uh, Oksana, Alicia Fox, and Rosa Mendez, who's now blonde. JoJo and Eva Marie for the first time in ring wrestling. JoJo actually did not wrestle, but Eva Marie did. Um, she just looked whatever. I mean, she's you gotta give her some time to adjust because she's never wrestled it before. She's been training a while, so I've heard. So uh, we'll see how she turns out in the next few years. Nothing entertaining, just a boring Divas match, uh, just kind of sloppy, just, I mean, not everybody got in the match, it was just kind of lopsided, it seems like Oksana and Alicia Fox were in, Rosa Mendez wasn't really in, and JoJo wasn't really in, Natalia ends up winning when she puts uh, Alicia Fox in the sharpshooter, Alicia has to tap, and basically Eva, Marie, JoJo, and Natalia win, and that's whatever. Probably the worst match, one of them, of the night, but whatever. The next match we have is the Los Matadores versus 3MB. Oh yeah, forgot to say, Brad Maddox comes out after the match. He says that there's going to be a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton in the Hell in a Cell cage. And there'll be a special guest referee voted on by the fans, one of three people will be contest will be voted on on the WWE app the winner gets to be the special guest ref at Hell in a Cell for the Orton Bryan match WWE title at Hell in a Cell in the main event first guy that comes out Booker T basically says why he should be the guest ref it's almost like a kind of like 
political way of candidates saying why they should be the ref instead of being elected. It's basically that. Booker T gives his case of why he should be the special guest ref, and that's basically it. So we find out one of three contestants to be the uh, special guest. We have Los Matadores versus the three MB. Um, we're bringing them back. Just had to say that. <laughs> I had to. Couldn't resist. Los Matadores versus three MB. Like I said, just a little joke to throw in there. Um, this match was whatever lopsided as as expected. Los Matadors beat him up most of the match, and then they uh, hit their double Samoan drop. Still don't know what the finishing uh, name they're gonna call it in the WWE, but it was a double Samoan drop by Fernando and Diego of the Los Matadors, aka Primo and Epico, and uh, basically they pin him for the one two three. Double Samoan drop. Los Matadors win here. At the end, El Torito plays around with. Heath Slater running around the ring and uh, crawls underneath, and then Heath Slater gets uh, clotheslined by uh, Fernando and Diego, and the Los Matadors celebrate, and that's basically it. Kind of a boring, lopsided match, as expected, to get Los Matadors over, or try to, anyway. And we have our next match, which is, or actually, Paul Heyman says he's the best in the world, and Axel and Ryback, and they're all in the ring. Punk comes out. Uh, Heyman says Punk cheated with the low blow and Punk didn't deserve to win the match. Punk comes out. Then R Truth comes out and Punk's like, I can take care of this myself, but R Truth insists. They come down to the ring, so it's R Truth and CM Punk versus Curtis Axel and Ryback. Obviously, because Truth's feuding with Axel, Punk's feuding with Ryback. And we also find out on Friday Night SmackDown, Curtis Axel versus R-Truth for the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown this Friday night. So it'll be interesting. Hope Truth can win. Maybe you never know. Anything can happen. But back to this match. Punk and Truth versus Axel and Ryback. Pretty good stuff all around. Another decent match. I'd say probably one of the better ones of the night. Basically what happens is uh, CM Punk is uh does all his stuff, the running knee, the flying elbow, and then hits a GTS. All this on Curtis Axel. Then to finish it out, he hit the GTS on Axel after he hit the running knee and the flying elbow on Axel. He hits uh the GTS on Axel. Ryback comes running to the ring. Punk takes Ryback out. Then the, he tags in our truth who hits the scissors kick on Curtis Axel, Truth pins Axel for the 1-2-3, giving Truth and Punk the win in a solid match. Pretty good. Probably better than the Punk-Ryback match yesterday, to be perfectly honest. And, and so Truth Axel, Friday night, Intercontinental title. That should be interesting. And then uh, Punk and Truth win over Axel Ryback. Not much of a surprise. Probably what you you figured the faces would go over here. And uh, they win with the scissors kick by Truth, who pins Axel. So, yeah, decent match. Then we have the next match, which is Randy Orton. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the second candidate that comes out is uh, Bob Backlund. He basically says that he ex says why he should be the special guest ref. So, we already have Booker T and uh, Bob Backlund tonight as the potential people to be special guest ref at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship. And that takes us into our next match, Randy Orton versus Kofi Kingston. Figure Orton's going to win here, most likely going in. Pretty solid match, you know, uh, more than, I mean, with these two, you can you can expect a pretty good match, and it pretty, pretty much was a decent match. There's only three or four bad matches in the night, which is a, kind of a lot, but <clears throat> three hours of Raw, you have to fill it up somehow, but... Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, back to that. Uh, one point, Randy Orton, uh, Kofi Kingston hits the uh, splash off the top rope, or cross body, and then uh, goes for the SOS. Those are both near falls. Then at one point, Orton hits the DDT off the barricade, off the top, and then uh, Orton sort of toys with Kofi Kingston in the outside of the ring, throws Kofi back in, Orton gets up, RKO's Kofi, Orton pins Kofi for the 1-2-3. Randy Orton wins. 
and that's basically what happens. <clears throat> then right after that, Orton's sort of celebrating. Daniel Bryan comes running out out of nowhere, takes out Randy Orton, going at Orton, just punches, hit on Randy Orton's skull. The officials are trying to break it up. They just keep going at it. Daniel Bryan's on top of Orton, just pummeling him. And then uh, Orton gets up, runs to the back of the locker room, and Bryan chases him. So good involvement. I like that at the end to sort of build the feud again. Some more with the Brian Orton match at uh, Hell in a Cell. Then we've got our next match, which is uh, Vicky and Alberto Del Rio backstage. Alberto says he should be the face of the WWE. Just kind of sucks up to Vicky, and then uh, puts his scarf around her. And just whatever awkward backstage moment. She says your opponent tonight, Ricardo Rodriguez. And then when Del Rio's, she said, oh yeah, and one more thing. When Ricardo's gets in the ring. Alberto's got his back turned. She said, your opponent at Hell in a Cell for the World Heavyweight Championship is John Cena. And he goes, what? What? He's just all mad and stuff. Ricardo uses that distraction, rolls Alberto Del Rio up, pins him for the 1-2-3, and Del Rio loses this match to Ricardo. Then Del Rio goes off. Ricardo's celebrating. And uh, Ricardo Del Rio just kicks Ricardo's ass basically the next two minutes. And then uh, super kicks, puts uh, Ricardo's arm in the chair like he did RVD, and then uh, puts the cross arm breaker hold on uh, on Ricardo, and that's basically how uh, Del Re that in that match. So we have Del Rio versus Cena. I'm guessing. I thought it was supposed to be four to six months. I don't know if that match is going to happen. I mean, I'm assuming since she announced it, it's going to be weird seeing Cena in the World Heavyweight Championship picture again. It's been like two or three years since we've seen that, so. Maybe even four, I can't remember. But Cena versus Del Rio looks like World Heavyweight Championship match at Hell in a Cell. As far as I know. Uh, then right after that, we have Fandango versus Zack Ryder. Another kind of boring match here. Lopsided. Fandango got most of the offense. Zack Ryder got a few in. He punches, went for the broski boot. Fandango gets out of that. Then Fandango... Uh, Hit Zack Ryder with a neck breaker, goes to the top rope, and hits a leg drop off the top rope on Zack Ryder. Fandango pins Ryder for the 1 2 3, and Fandango wins the match. And another, sort of like Los Matadors 3 and B in the Divas match, kind of boring matches, just to be perfectly honest. They're whatever matches, sort of like you'd see on Superstars or Main Event. Then the next match we have, another. I guess this match made some sense. The Real Americans versus Great Kali and Santino, since the Real Americans beat Kali and Santino last night on the pay-per-view. Um, tonight it was a rematch from the pay-per-view. Uh, basically what happens towards the end, Cesaro does what he did last night at the pay-per-view, swings Kali around with a Cesaro swing, pins Kali in the ring for the 1-2-3 after he spins him Kali around about 11 or 12 times, I think I counted. So Cesaro looks like that may be his new finisher, maybe. He spins him around, kind of, makes him dizzy, and pins him. After the match, Cesaro's going to uh, swagger throws Hornswoggle in the ring. Cesaro spins Hornswoggle in the ring a couple times. Santino Cobras, uh, Santino hits uh, Cesaro with the Cobra, takes Cesaro out, then uh, swaggers going towards the ropes. And uh, Kali chops Swagger and takes him out. And then Kali and Hornswoggle and Santino celebrate and get the last laugh. But the real Americans beat Santino and Kali with the Cesaro swing. And Cesaro pins Kali after the match, like I just explained. Basically, Kali, Santino, and Hornswoggle celebrate in the ring and get the last laugh. Another kind of whatever match. Then we have the Miz TV segment. There's no guest on here. It's just Miz TV with Miz himself. Kind of odd if you ask me. I hate Miz TV, so to be perfectly honest, I could have cared less. And I'm not a big Miz fan either. Hate to be negative, but I'm just telling the truth. Um, Miz talks about uh, something. I don't really remember. I don't think I was paying much attention. Then I hear the Wyatt family, Harper and Rowan, come appear in the ring. Miz runs out of the ring. He get, Wyatt's blocking the stage, then um, Miz ducks Bray Wyatt's punch, and then Miz kind of hits Bray Wyatt, 
gets him dazed a little bit, and then Miz goes up the entrance ramp towards the back and just kind of stares at Wyatt and uh, the Harper and Rowan. So it looks like Miz and Wyatt are going to be maybe in a feud, maybe for the maybe a match at Hell in a Cell. It looks like another mid Carter to feud with Wyatt. So that looks like what it's going to be at Hell in a Cell, maybe, or maybe we get a couple matches on Raw and SmackDown with Wyatt and Miz. So it looks like we're building a feud. That's the start. So interesting stuff. Will be fun to see. Then we've got our main event. Um, oh yeah, I got forgot to say, Shawn Michaels comes out as the last contestant for the uh, special ref. Shawn Michaels gives his case right then. You know Shawn Michaels is gonna win. Shawn Michaels wins. So we have Shawn Michaels as the special guest referee at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship with Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan. So Shawn Michaels is the special guest ref for that match. Should be interesting. Good stuff there. Probably get some involvement with Triple H. Now our main event, uh, Shield and Shield versus Goldust, Cody Rhodes and Daniel Bryan. A good match here. Probably the best one of the night. Um, we have a couple, uh, couple things. We have a uh, and basically what happens is Cody Rhodes towards the end of the match clotheslines Roman Reigns takes out Roman Reigns then you have uh, I'm trying to remember exactly how it all plays out um, then you have uh, basically what happens Daniel Bryan kicks Seth Rollins in the head, is about to pin him. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose are taken out, it appears, but Dean Ambrose comes back in the ring, hits Daniel Bryan, who's pinning Seth Rollins with a steel chair. The ref calls the DQ. So you think Cody Rhodes, Daniel Bryan, and Goldust get the win, right? Nope. Triple H is ringside. It says restart the match. It's no disqualification. So they restart it, and... Uh, and basically what happens is in the middle of the match, Daniel Bryan's on the outside of the ring. Out of nowhere comes Randy Orton, RKO's Daniel Bryan, tosses Bryan back in the ring. Seth Rollins pins Daniel Bryan. And then uh, Seth Rollins pins Daniel Bryan for the 1-2-3 with the help of the RKO of Randy Orton. So the Shield win here, no surprise, with the help of Orton. Again, good involvement to build for, the, for their uh, match at Hell in a Cell and build the feud, progress it. Then we've got um, Big Show comes running out to the ring, knocks out uh, the shield, uh, throws them out of the ring, takes them out. It's just Triple H and him. And then Big Show knocks Triple H the big knockout punch. I am not a huge Big Show fan, but I like him. And I'm even happy. It's kind of cool to see him get the laugh there and after all he's been through in the past month and a half of us seeing Big Show crying, he gets the uh, punch in, and then uh, that's basically it. Knocks out Triple H. Daniel Bryan gets the ring. Big Show walks up the entrance ramp, and then we end the show with Daniel Bryan going, yes, yes, yes. And then, of course, the crowd's chanting, yes, yes, yes. Big pop. Overall, show is whatever. Overall grade I give it is a 5.5 out of 10. I actually enjoyed this. Actually, I'll probably have yeah, 5 out of 10 is the overall grade I'll give it, not a 5.5. So the overall grade I give raw, 5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed my video. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.